What's going on, Chosen One, man? It's your big brother, Trend. Again, with another exclusive video. Um, Man, I was debating on making this video because I don't know if it might go over your head or if some of y'all out there really can kind of see what the same thing I see and you feel like I feel. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tell y'all some things that you might be experiencing right now. Just to let you know, you're not the only one that feel like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so before you leave this video, make sure that you comment below your opinion on what you think. Um, and by the way, obviously you, you can see I'm driving right now. So I had to come out and give me some good old salads, some good old cob salads. You know what I'm saying? Trying to eat healthy as much as I can. Um, but anyway, so I don't know if you noticed this lately, but like, man, the earth is heating up. The earth is heating up. I'm looking at my dashboard right now out here in Phoenix, Arizona, where I stay. It is 112 degrees. The other day, it was 116 degrees. By the time the night fall, the, this evening come, by the time 8.30 get here, it's still going to be 90 degrees out here. And not only just here, but I've talked to a lot of y'all on the phone, and I've heard y'all tell me where y'all at. It's like 100 here, 100 there. 108 here. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just like, yo, that ain't even normal. That's not normal. It's not normal, man. The earth is heating up. You know what I'm saying? The earth is heating up. My friend, she sent me a message the other day. And she she said, Trent, you ever heard about the solar flare hitting the earth? I'm like, I didn't even know it was our solar flare that hit the earth. She sent me the news article and everything. A soul, another, I guess they say another solar flare just hit the earth and heated. That's what's causing the heat. But ain't nobody talking about it though. See, they don't never talk about none of the stuff that you should know. Cause they don't want nobody to know. So with that being said, I've been I've been feeling it in my spirit. Like I don't know, I don't know if you can feel things in your spirit, or I don't know if you got the gift of discernment and you can see through things for what they really are but I can see through things for what they really are. But I know for a fact, something is going on right now in our society, in our world, in community. Something is happening that's way bigger than us, but they not telling us. I don't know who they is, but they not telling us what's going on. And I also believe something else big is going to happen really, really soon. I just feel like it. I would not be surprised if I I wouldn't be so much shit done happen already that we done seen that's bizarre. It don't even really it's not, at this point it's like normal now. It's become normal that we see supernatural unnormal things happen and look at it as normal cuz it keep happening. Stuff just keep happening, man. You know, I'm talking about like you know, the, the biggest story that was recent, like the, the the people that went down there to the Titanic and stuff like that, it just don't add up. It don't make no sense. It just don't add up. And I'm not stupid. Sometimes you can just look at stuff and just listen to stories and just, it don't make any sense. First of all, what are y'all doing that? What's, what is those, why do y'all, why are y'all down there messing with shipwreck and stuff that they've been down there forever. Why? What's the point? What's it? It's something else down there, man. Something they ain't telling us about. It, it don't make sense. It don't add up. Something is down there. That's how I feel about it. But we ain't never going to hear nothing about that type of information. But you got to think outside the box sometime, man. When you, you, like, see, some people just listen to stories and just believe it. You know what I'm saying? Some people just take things for face value. When you, somebody, some people just look at a caption on the on a picture and be like, "Oh, that's what he believes." You know, I'm just like, no, it's just a caption. And some some people don't think, but that's how they want everybody like that. But real talk, I really personally believe. I know we living in the end times, man. It ain't no if ands buts about it, man. It's just obvious, man. This it's obvious, man. It's too much. It's too much negativity going on not to even say that it, it, it is not happening. It's too much. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we woke up the next day and we had an all out war with somebody or somebody that done, tar done did something, done set a bomb over. I wouldn't be surprised. We living on, it's like we living on edge out here, man. Like we living on egg, edge, we walking on eggshells, man. It's, it's crazy. It's like you got to watch your back everywhere you go, man. You got to, you got to be, you know what I'm saying? gotta carry your pistols and shit man it's like you, you can't even be you can barely find peace you know what i'm saying and you know i wouldn't be surprised bro we woke up the next day and the damn alien aircraft done landed somewhere and some beings outside uh uh eating a damn picnic that we ain't never seen before as a family i wouldn't be surprised and they had that shit on TV, like, look at the beans, y'all. And we be, we spend like two months looking at the beans at the aircraft, just going back and forth doing stuff. And we be like, what the hell? There's some more creatures out there? I wouldn't be surprised. They already making themselves be known. Like, UFOs and all that stuff. Man, come on. How many times do we have to see evidence that, it, that something is out there? I mean, how many times does it take? You know what I'm saying? It's obvious. They they basically saying, we here. We just make sure y'all ain't gonna go crazy when we make ourselves be known. We here. Cause we know what's about to happen. That's what I feel like. If there was any unworldly beings out here, I just feel like they don't want to scare us and they are just slowly making themselves be known. Like slowly, slowly. And you can call it what you want. You can call them. Some people call them old dark fallen angels or whatever the case may be. That's just your opinion. You don't really know. Nobody knows. But they know. I feel like they know. But like I said, they ain't enough. you got to figure things out on your own. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's heating up out here, man. And it's like, I'm riding with, I got 5% 10 on my window. And I'm still kind of hot with my air on. I'm just glad that I got a little bit of a little bit of brown in my skin, though. You know, to, to keep keep me feeling a little bit cooler. You know what I'm saying? But uh, speak up, let your voice be heard. Let me know what y'all think, man. Something happened, man. Something happening. Just don't know what it is, but I think I know what it is, man. You probably know exactly what it is too, but. It seemed like we been prepared for something, man. It seemed like we been programmed still. And, and, and if you keep falling into the program or whatever it is, if you keep falling into this, this, this technological digital world, then you're gonna be a part of the, you're gonna be a part of the whole experiment. You know what I'm saying? I think, personally, I think the pandemic I think that's just a little, that's just a little practice run. I feel like that was, you know, I feel like that was just a little practice run. You know what I'm saying? Like for something bigger to come, something bigger gonna happen. Cause it just tested, it just experimented with something. You know what I mean? Shut the whole world down. That's experiment. Just to say, what if, what if, what if tomorrow, all the social media, all technology cut off? What was, what you gonna do then? Man, it, Man, people gonna go crazy because some people live their life on the computer. Some people live their life on social media. You know, I be on social media probably more than you do, but I'm not addicted to it. I don't live my life on it. I don't need it. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. But I'm just saying, what if, <clears throat> what if it was a big blackout or something? and all the technology got cut off and all the internets got cut off. Man, you know everything work on Wi-Fi anyway, right? Your whole house is Wi-Fi. You got your tail phone on your Wi-Fi, you got TVs connected to your Wi-Fi. Shit, it ain't no such thing as cable no more. It's, you got uh, fire sticks and, and programs that's running off Wi-Fi. Everything off Wi-Fi and internet. Pretty much. If you don't got internet, you don't got no connection with nobody else. That's basically how it is out here. 
if you don't got no cell phone, you cut off from the whole damn world pretty much because everybody on their cell phones. But it's crazy, man. I, I, I know I'm not the only one that thinking this shit, man. I'm, you know, I know this is my opinion, but I know it got to be some people out there that have been, been thinking like what I'm thinking right now. I mean, I just see the matrix ain't crashing. It's getting worse. More technology, more technology. Like y'all ain't seen the way more cars that's driving themselves with cameras all on them. Like three, like thirty cameras on one car. Why the car need all them cameras? If a Tesla, listen, if a Tesla drive itself right and it don't got that much cameras on it, why a way more car need all them cameras? Think about that. Think about it. They taking away. They taking away muscle cars. Like, I got one of the last muscle cars off the lot. Dude told me at the dealership, bro, you, it ain't, we ain't making them no more. I say, why y'all ain't making them the loud cars no more? We, 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 we fellas about out here. He's like, man, they want everybody to go electric. I'm like, what? They want everybody, they change, man. It feel like they just, they want every, they dumbing shit down. They want everybody to be basically just the opposite of what you're supposed to be. So you mean to tell me I got to pull up in the future? My kids got to pull up in the future in a quiet ass car to pick up his date? Like, hey, what? That's soft. They turning things, or they turning, they, it's like they turning the people around. They putting people against each other type of shit, man. All, they got all the girls turning, being masculine. They don't even think they masculine. They just say, oh, you know, we've been hurt. We've been tore down. We got an excuse to, to, to yell. We got an excuse to be aggressive. That shit ain't normal. That ain't normal. My mama and them didn't act like that. My grandma and my auntie and them did not act like that when I was growing up. When they was raising me, they did not act like the girls today at all, period. Same thing with the guys. Guys out here soft as hell. Soft, sensitive. They act like girls. Hard to keep friends because guys is sensitive and shit like that. And that's why I be rolling by myself like a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't really got a lot of friends like that because... It's like everybody just sensitive, man. Everybody easily triggered. It's crazy, man. They pushing it. It's like they pushing everybody to be isolated, to where you vulnerable and you have nobody. So if they ever was to do some shit, if the aliens was ever to come back and they lock this shit down, ain't nobody got no help. Because ain't nobody gonna come and help nobody Because look at how it is now Ain't nobody helping nobody now It's like every man for they self type of, type of lifestyle now You know what I mean? Like everybody for they self Everybody for they self Everybody me, me, me What you gonna do for me? It's crazy I mean that's how I see it Damn, Ain't no gas pumps open Oh there you go That's how I, that's how I see it Everybody, everybody dysfunctional. Everybody like, you know, I'm doing me. Forget you, I'm doing me. But you gotta ask yourself. But you gotta ask yourself. How did all that come about? How did all that just come about? In, in one generation? How? How did that all happen? It ain't like you just woke up one day. You were just like, man, I'm doing me. And I'm gonna do me. Until me get good. At me and, and 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 see the thing is I know it's a great awakening or whatever you call it, but it just still it still don't under it still don't make no sense of how all that just happened like like randomly like that. You know what I'm saying? By the way, start eating some salads, man. Thing be healthy, boy. Oh man, they put cottage cheese on here. Damn, do not want no cottage cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Still gonna eat it though. But nah. Um, yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, I, I feel like something is happening, man. I feel like 
You know, people waking up, man. They see, they starting to see the truth that everything that's going on out here. Starting to see it all for what it is. Cause, of, cause, like I said, cause computers, technology, information gives you access to see stuff that you didn't once upon a time seen before, and it's hitting the fan. And people is like, man, damn, we've been lied to, man. Like, the whole time we've been lied to. We've been lied to about everything, man. Ev everything. That's It's hard for me to even read books nowadays again. Like, I stopped reading books. Because I'm just like, man, I don't even know what to believe now. Like, shit, I don't. And I read a lot of books. A lot of books. I used to read so much books, man. They used to get tired of me going in the library. But now I'm scared to read. Like, I'll be like, nah, I'm just going to rely on my intuition, my spirit. God, please tell me what you want me to say. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I don't know what to believe now. I don't know who telling the truth. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's wrong. It's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you, I don't know, man. It's like the, it's like the more spiritual you become and the more self-sufficient you become, the more you understand a lot more about yourself, man. Your body start changing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't know about you, but I don't eat red meat no more. Like, I'm literally like a pescatarian. Like, and it happened, like, it happened for me, like, like two weeks ago. I just, all of a sudden, I had made some steak. And I just looked at the steak like, I don't even want this shit no more. My body was like, uh-uh, don't eat it. My body was like, my stomach was growling like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I tried to make some chicken wings yesterday. I ain't even eat but two. I don't even want meat no more. I'm just like, damn, why my body is like making me not even want meat no more. So it just, I guess the higher you become, the more you raise your consciousness level, I would say, the more you raise your consciousness level and you just start learning how your body, what your body need, you'll start to see that even the meat that we was eating is not even good for us. We was eating dead animals, bro. Think about that. Think about the think about the pig, chitlins, pork. That shit come from one of the most nastiest animals, and people enjoy eating it. Like, oh my god, this, oh, let's eat it. What? Pig feed. I used to eat pig feed like crazy. Still got a little taste for some. <laughs> you know? I mean, look, man, cows. These animals was dead. And we ate they flesh. They in inner parts of their body. Ugh. Ugh. I just want to throw up thinking about it. And so now, you know what I'm saying? It's, you got to eat healthy. Like, you got to eat salads, man. You got to eat healthy. You got to eat, drink fruit drinks with with with, with uh, mint and stuff in them, man. It make you feel better, man. It give you more energy, man. Look, this Decepticon coming out the gas station with a whole big-ass goat soda from QT. Come on, got them big goat soda just dripping off the whole damn cup. You know it's soda because it's brown. He don't know no better. He like 70 years old. Big ass soda goat. Big goat drink. Damn. You don't need that much damn soda. You know how, you know how QT, all these gas stations got them, you know how they got their own beverage machine back there. They gave you a cup this damn big. <laughs> they gave you a cup this damn big like you on damn Sesame Street or some shit. You don't need that much damn, you don't need that much drink, bro. You don't. People be filling that shit up. Ain't nothing but pure sugar. Pure sugar, caffeine, everything above. You don't even know what's in it. But anyway, man, I'm just letting you know my thoughts for the day. Um, speak up, let your voice be heard. This is an open discussion, man. I feel like something's happening. I feel like something big is going to happen. And... 
I just want to hear your opinion on it, man. Um, it's your big bro trend. Let me get the pump in my gas, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace and love, man. Stay healthy, eat healthy, man. Get you a salad today, man. Get you some, get you a smoothie, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it. This is what I do. So, with that being said, man, speaker let your voice be heard. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace, chosen one.